Fabrice, after playing your 69th and final Grand Slam here at the US Open, what emotions are going through your head at the moment? I'm a bit sad, you know. Um, I knew before uh, coming to New York that it would be my last Grand Slam. Um, but then it, now it's done, you know. It's, I lost. Uh, Juan Carlos Ferro played a good match today, beat me. And uh, when I left the court, I was, I was really sad. Yeah. How do you think fans will remember you? It's something, it's a question you could ask in the, here in New York, I mean, in, in, in the tennis center, but uh, I would be happy if they remember me as someone who really loves his sport and uh, always try 100% on the court. We all know that Pete Sampras famously dubbed you the magician uh, one year. Uh, that, that actually touched you, that meant a lot to you to hear that from Pete. Can you talk about that? Yeah, it was in Indian Wells in 2000. After a long match we played, he beat me 7-5 uh, in the third. And coming from, from Pete, you know, which is one of the best champions we ever had, uh, I, will, I will never forget that. You know? I will never, never forget what he said in Indian Wells. And another legend, Jimmy Connors, spoke to you before you went out to play your final match here at the US Open. What did you talk about? He talked about his experience on the tour, which is huge. You know, he played for so many years. He played uh, as long as he, as he was able to do. And uh, he said, why do you stop? I said, because um, I don't want to travel anymore. And he said, but are you injured? I said, no. He said, are you competitive? I said, yes. He said, so why do you stop? <laughs> and in you mentioned that one reason is because, for instance, you missed your daughter's first day of school because you were here yeah. at the Open. You, you must want to spend more time with your I family. Wanna, yeah, I mean, it's not only because I missed the first day of school yesterday, but also it's... Uh, uh, she's eight already, and uh, every time I leave home from home, she's like, OK, Daddy, when are you coming back? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I have this, this question in, 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 uh, in mind. When I'm very far from home, like, when are you coming back, when are you coming back? I don't want to hear this question anymore. Do you think we'll ever see another player play the way you do, now that there's so much power in the game? I don't want to answer this one, it's not for me. I think my style is, is different and um, ask him some other players. And just finally, did you ever see that two-handed racket that the American brothers have played yeah, with? I have one at home. Have you, now, have you yes. ever gone out on the court and hit with that? They I'm gave me one in Newport two years ago. Uh, or last year actually, and uh, I bring it back home, I string the racket, and I, I try to play with it, but no way, <laughs> no way. <laughs> I'm intrigued what sort of trick shots you might get up to with, uh, with that, but uh, it, it still wasn't for you? No, I mean, one, um, two hands on one grip is easier for me than two hands in two separate grips.